Today, we are remembering the victims of the tragic shooting at an Aurora movie theater more than a decade ago. That shooter opened fire inside the theater, killing 12 people and injuring more than 70 others. Jonathan Blunk, Alexander Boyk, Staff Sergeant Jesse Childress, Gordon Cowden, Jessica Gowie, Petty Officer Third Class John Larimer, Matthew McQuinn, Michaela Medic, Veronica Mosier Sullivan, Alex Sullivan, Alexander Teves and Rebecca Wingo all lost their lives that night. Our Justin Adams is in Aurora showing us how people are remembering the victims today. This midnight vigil is a chance for the community to be able to come together and honor the lives of those that were lost. And it's also a chance for the community to be able to come together and heal as they reflect on what happened that day. It started with a candlelight procession at 11.59 p.m. at the entrance of the Aurora Waterwise Garden. There, one by one, each name of the victims were read aloud. Messages were written on crosses honoring each of the 12 victims. First responders, survivors, and loved ones gathered for a moment of remembrance and to also pray together. Lord, I ask that tonight that you would continue to help people heal. We know yet that there are families and people that are still going through difficult times emotionally and spiritually. And we just ask that you would be at work in their hearts and their lives. These are the white crosses you see honoring the victims. And these have been out on display since 4 p.m. yesterday. The Reflection Garden is designed to be a place of healing, comfort, and hope. The 720 Foundation is inviting the community to gather out this weekend and on Saturday morning there will be a second annual Heroes Journey 5K walk and run that will be hosted by shooting survivor Zach Goldage and a community event will also be here at the Garden starting at 930. In Aurora, Justin Adams covering Colorado First.